I have a fun one for you today. So here we have a Trailblazer cluster, which is also the same as the GMC Envoy, Oldsmobile Bravada, Buick Rainier, Isuzu Ascender, and Saab 97X. And there is a couple different versions um, within that family. You can either get them with the message center or without the message center where it's just an odometer and a trip. But today we're talking about the style with the message center. And even within that style, there's different revisions of boards. For whatever reason, they changed up that Trailblazer board a lot throughout the years. Now this cluster was rebuilt a couple years ago. As you can see, it has X27s in it. Everything was fine, working great, but then it just recently lost communication. Now this chip here, this is the transceiver chip. I'll have the part numbers down below. There's two different part numbers they use. Both of them are proprietary GM part numbers. But uh, I'm gonna power this up and I'm sending it a serial bus signal, but it's not receiving it. But watch what happens when I put my finger on this mystery component right here. See that? Communication, no problem. So this one had me stumped for a little while because of the package size GM decided to use. Anyways, this is a crystal. It's a four megahertz crystal. That's not normally what crystals look like. So this is a package that you'd typically see a crystal and this is the crystal for the microprocessor. But this is the crystal for the transceiver chip. And it's in a bit of a bizarre package. At first I thought maybe it was a inductor, but uh, after a little more poking around, it's a crystal and it appears to be drifting out of tolerance. And it's not just fracture joints at the crystal, reflowing this doesn't make any difference. Although heat and cold can sometimes make a difference, but it's not gonna be fixed right until it's replaced. And I'm gonna be replacing it with just a traditional package crystal. Um, you can see on there, it's got the, uh, you might be able to see that in there, four megahertz printed on there. Anyways, let's get to work. Here is the old crystal, and there is the new crystal. It's kind of hard to see uh, top down from the microscope on how I soldered it, but you kind of get a view in there. I just kind of made a J leg on the uh, leads and soldered it to the pads. So let's power it up now, and now it should get communication right away without having to touch the crystal to get it back into tolerance. There you go, driver one, and we're getting activity out of the gauges. So yes, it's fixed. Okay, this will just be a quick video. I'm done. Thanks for watching. See you next time.